So, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you guys are new here. Thank you so, so much for clicking on today's video. Today's video is gonna be another vintage handbag video. My one true passion in life. If you guys have gone through some of my old videos, you guys know I am a vintage handbag addict. Today's video is gonna be what vintage handbags should you invest in for spring, summer, but also autumn, winter, 2023. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make this into a series or not, or if it's just gonna be a standalone video, but I do quite a lot of research on handbags. I own a lot of vintage handbags. I've just been on the hunt recently for some new ones. I've been looking at what's new in the kind of luxury designer market for autumn, winter, 2023 and just seeing what styles are creeping back in, what vintage styles have been reissued, and what ones you need to spend your money on. Also, just a little disclaimer, I am not an expert in this field. I absolutely love handbags and vintage, and I do a lot of research, but I'm not an expert. So take everything with a pinch of salt, and I just wanted to share my knowledge with you guys and hopefully save you guys some money and just talk about what's hot right now and what's trending. So I feel like it goes without saying, I'm just gonna put it out there. Obviously Chanel and Hermes are always good investments. Um, I'm actually not gonna talk about them in today's video. It's gonna be more specific, not smaller brands, but not the kind of obvious choices, if that makes sense. Um, more specific bags, reissued bags, and just a kind of variety of brands. I feel like Chanel and Hermes just always have investable bags, if that makes sense. Like their bags are always gonna gain you money. They're always gonna be good investments. So I'm just not gonna talk about those in today's video, even though they are, of course, always a good investment. First brand I'm gonna to talk to you about is Fendi. Obviously, Fendi are so well known for their baguette bag. I actually have two, which I've purchased, two vintage ones. And that was such a huge, just rise of the baguette. Obviously, it was huge in Sex and the City, and then it's huge again now with the newer versions of the baguettes um, that are going for like three, four, five grand. So, not gonna talk about the baguettes today, but Fendi have actually just launched a new bag very, very recently. I think it's literally four or five days old, and it is called the Come On Bag. This is kind of like a satchel style bag, and it's got two FF logos, but they aren't interlocked um, like normally the Fendi bags are. They're like two standalone Fs. Um, I'm not 100% mad on the new bag. I mean, it's fine. It's nothing that's speaking to me or that I think is amazing. But I did want to note with this is that the price point is super high. So the small bags are around 1,800. I think the larger ones are around 3,000 to 3,500. And this is so similar to the 1970s Fendi bags. I'm gonna pop some on the screen. I don't think there's a specific style that they've copied, but the whole vibe of the bag and the clasp detail is identically copied from the 70s. So I was just doing a quick little bit of research and I found this bag on Vestiaire and it's actually from the 80s. So I think it's like the 70s, 80s style from that kind of period. And this bag is just called the Baguette Cloth Handbag, and this is £187. And as you guys can see, this is such a similar vibe to the new Come On bag. The style of the FF kind of clasp is exactly the same. The satchel vibe, obviously this one is um, got the Zucker print, but I do think they do the Come On in a Zucker print as well, the new version. So I'll put the uh, picture side by side on the screen, but literally for a 10 times price difference, this is just completely crazy. There are so many bags that feature that little clasp that are from the 70s and 80s, and because they are quite old, a lot of them are super cheap. Um, I think you can get quite a lot on Vestia. I think that Farfetch do a few. I'm sure if you look at other vintage sites, I'll list my favorite ones down below, you can probably find something which is reminiscent of this vibe. And I just think you need to get in there quickly. I feel like these are gonna start going up in price as we have seen with everything. There was a point where you could get Fendi baguettes for under £100, under £150, and they're now even vintage, like still 500, 600, 700 pound. So I would say get on it while it's cheap and you're just gonna be rocking the style which is so on trend, um, but you can laugh at everyone because you spent 10 times less. Than they've spent so next up is a more generalized kind of term for bags and i want to say invest in metallic bags but like we knew that metallic was going to be a huge trend for 2023 i think it's even bigger than we thought it was going to be and especially for accessories and bags and so many of the new bags coming out are all metallic bottega gucci specifically like the gucci disco bag um it's kind of like a slouchy kind of style bag um, and that is, like, the metallic bags always at a little bit of a higher price point as well. 
and vintage metallic bags are always in such good condition for some reason I feel like the leather or something on them is just really really good and usually they're quite affordable so i've seen a gucci vintage disco bag i think it was in selfridges last year i was gonna buy it and i think it was 300 pound or less um but honestly any kind of silver bag you can find i'll pop some on the screen then i feel like they are something to invest in i feel like they're quite timeless i feel like they go with any evening outfit look great with silver jewelry and they're also good for kind of all year round i feel like silver sometimes is associated with christmas but i love silver bags in the summer with like florals and evening outfits bright colors with silver um, so I think definitely metallic bags is something to have on your radar. Another brand that do quite a few silver good vintage bags are Miu Miu. Um, obviously Miu Miu is absolutely huge now. I feel like it had such a revival last year and it's still just as huge. But the metal metalasse bags, I think they're called. They do quite a few of those in silver and they are stunning. And I think they're still quite a good price point. Prada in general do quite a lot of silver bags as well. Chanel obviously goes without saying. And I do find the silver Chanel bags are a little bit cheaper as well. So definitely have a look at those. Doesn't have to be like the big, big brands either. It can be like Jean-Paul Gaultier. I saw a really lovely silver Jean-Paul Gaultier bag in Selfridges the other day, a vintage one. I think it was like £160. And like Vivian Westwood, Alexander McQueen, like some of those just better priced bags um, look for vintage and especially in metallic, they're just going to look really, really on trend. So now we're going to talk about Dior. I feel like Dior is having a huge revival again of its 1970s, 1980s style bags. Obviously the Trotter print has been huge and I feel like it's not really going anywhere. It's just kind of here to stay. But if you look at the bags from the 70s and 80s, they feature the same kind of print but it's a lot, lot smaller and a little bit darker as well. It's just a slightly different vibe. Um, I'll put some pictures on the screen. It's just kind of more repeated and it's got just a different feel to it. The CD as well on it is also slightly different. It's a lot smaller and it's also like interlocking. You can't almost make out the C and D. It's like a kind of oval shape. It's very reminiscent of the 1970s. They do quite a lot of bags like this. Many of these bags are quite plain. They don't have that much hardware on them. A lot of them are quite formal looking. Um, but some of them are really, really gorgeous. They do some clutches, do some of that little chain straps, and they are all so well priced. And I may or may not know that that print is coming back for autumn winter 2023. So some of the bags launched already are kind of like that vibe. So I think it's called the Mont Montagna hobo i want to say I, I, that's probably completely wrong um but that bag is very similar to the vintage ones that bag is nearly two grand for literally a mini pochette and some of these vintage bags are 300 pound and under which is insane um and i also know from a source that they are bringing out a lot more in this style well i think they are um in this kind of like 1970s smaller print style this kind of very delicate i don't want to say old women style bags because then they're, they're gonna look so trendy, but they are almost like old women style bags, like kind of like medicine bags. Yeah, they, they've just got a different vibe about them. Yeah, you can get these so cheap vintage. And like I kind of said with the Fendi, because they are so old, a lot of them are just really, really cheap. And they might not be in the best condition, but I just love the feel and look of like a proper like vintage bag, especially vintage Dior. I feel like vintage Dior is just one of my absolute favorites. So now we're gonna talk about Gucci and this is one that you might have heard of already to try and invest in. I think I saw an article in Vogue about this and it is the Tom Ford Gucci horse bit bag. I can't believe, like I don't know why I've not bought one of these sooner because I see these on vintage sites for probably about 80 pounds or 180 pounds at most. They used to be so cheap, they're such gorgeous bags. They're quite small and slim, um, but they are being reissued, I think for autumn winter 2022. I'm not 100% sure of the price, but I've just seen on first dibs that apparently they're gonna be around 3,900 pounds. So a very big price increase from the 80 pound ones that I was looking at a few years ago. I actually saw one of these in a charity shop. It was fake and I nearly had heart palpitations. It was literally the other day I walked in. I was like, oh my God, a Gucci horse bit bag. Unfortunately, it was fake, but I would be literally looking for them. Like, have your radar on those bags because they are going to be huge. I think any colour, any style, they come in stripes. They come in the Gucci monogram. come in the kind of supreme stripe with the red and green. They come in so many different styles and I honestly think they're all going to be big. So anyone that you can get your hands on for a decent price, I would do it. There are still some that are a decent price now. I think the black ones are a little bit cheaper, around 300, 350. Um, but already the monogram ones that are vintage are literally going up to 1,300 pounds, 800 pounds. Um, so yeah, I feel like pounce while you can 
get your hands on them while you can because they are just going to go up and up and up and I feel like they're going to be quite an iconic vintage bag. I feel like they're not just going to be a one-hit wonder. I feel like this is going to be quite a staple piece for Gucci in their kind of upcoming seasons. So definitely have the horse bit bag on your radar. I also just always love Tom Ford Gucci. I feel like that is just Gucci's best era. Okay, I'm not going to make this video too long. I'm just going to do one more bag that you guys need to be on the lookout for. And that is from Bottega. I just released a new bag called the Wallace bag, which is very much like the vintage Bottega vanity pouch bags. Mel Sidera was actually talking about this. She has two of these and they are just stunning bags. She got hers vintage and I think they were such a good price point, like literally $300, $400. And these new are $1,600 for the mini. So you guys need to get on the vintage version of these. Bottega's a funny one. Some vintage Bottega is still really, really expensive. I actually managed to recently purchase a Bottega Intracato tote bag, which cost me £180, I think, £185, um, which is ridiculous considering the new ones that literally look the exact same are £3,500. So you can still do it. You can still find Bottega very well priced, but a lot of those, I think they're called the Canapa bags. I might be completely wrong with that. Campana. <laughs> the Campana hobo bags have just gone huge because of people like Matilda Jeff. They are like kind of going up in price a lot. So I wouldn't say that you can really get those for a bargain anymore. Sometimes you can. Certain colours and sizes are a lot cheaper. But on the whole they're still normally £800, £900, £1,000. Whereas I feel like if you get your hands on one of the vintage vanity pouches. They're going to be so cheap. Especially because they're not meant to be handbags. They're literally like a little popper that you open at the top. And then you unzip it and it's like a pouch. But Mel wears hers literally as like going out handbags and I would do the exact same so definitely be on the lookout for any vintage Bottega vanity pouch bags do you feel like this new Wallace style is going to be pretty big I mean it only comes in three colors but I think the vintage ones come in all different bright colors I think Mel's got a turquoise one um and another color one as well but I feel like a bright color in that would just be so fun and just such a cute little evening bag honestly vintage Bottega as well is just like unbeatable the leather the craftsmanship on it is just chef's kiss that is going to conclude today's video i hope you guys have enjoyed it i hope it's been informative and hopefully you guys are going to go and vintage shop for some of these bags so you can save yourself a lot of money and still be on trend if you guys do want to see any more videos from me then please hit that subscribe button also check me out on instagram and threads and tiktok i feel like there's so many things i need to mention now um, I have so many more vintage bag content over on there. I'm also always posting pictures with my vintage bags. So go and head over if you want some inspo. Love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and have a great weekend. Love you.